the all-electric BYD SEAL took its first European battle at the Munich Motor Show and is poised to hit European shores by year's end. It rolls on the same PHE Platform 3.0 as the BYD Addo 3 and Dolphin, but the SEAL is the inaugural BYD model to deploy the brand's innovative cell-to-body technology. This unique design incorporates battery into the car structure, enhancing safety. This is uh, BYD's advanced blade battery that employs lithium iron phosphate as its cathode material. Uh, here's the real zinger. Uh, it's entirely cobalt free for those who've just started their journey with into the uh, electric vehicle realm. Uh, cobalt has been a contentious issue due to uh, ethical and environmental concerns associated with its mining. Uh, European models will initially pack an 82.5 kilowatt hours battery, but Whispers suggest a smaller uh, 61 kilowatt hour pack uh, might also join the lineup. The SEAL offers two variants for European customers, uh, the SEAL design. This version comes with a rear wheel single electric motor pumping out 308 horsepower and is equivalent to the Chinese long range version. We need to get somewhere in a hurry. It dashes from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in 5.9 seconds. And the range is a cool 570 kilometers on the WLTP cycle. And then the SEAL Excellent AWD is armed with dual electric motors, mustering a hefty 523 horsepower in total. Zero to 100 kilometers per hour, it done in 3.8 seconds. Range 520 kilometers on the same cycle. It has the same specs as the China-bound Performance version. Uh, both models come standard with an 11 kilowatt three-phase onboard AC charger and can tap into 750 kilowatt DC fast charging. Using the latter battery charge from 30% to 80% takes 26 minutes. And the BYD SEAL flaunts a 2,920 millimeter wheelbase, ensuring ample space for all occupants. The trunk offers 400L, and there is an additional 53L in the trunk. As for those marking their calendars, BYD dealers in Europe will welcome the SEAL in the year's final quarter, with customer deliveries slated to begin in November. As for the price tag, that remains a cliffhanger.